dinosaurs being millions upon millions of years old are quite hard to figure out. And naturally, when trying to solve any hard puzzle, mistakes are bound to happen. And this is seen in dinosaurs, from the way they are portrayed in media, to even how they are portrayed by paleontologists when first discovered. And these mistakes also extend to their names, as seen with these five dinosaurs. The first dinosaur, the Volcanodon, does have a pretty interesting name, but nevertheless, it is still inaccurate. And this one is quite fascinating, as the name's translation highlights two facts about the dinosaur, which both happen to be incorrect. The full name means Volcano Tooth. The front section was given to it, as it was believed to be a part of the Batoka Formation, a geological formation that spans Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Zambia. It's primarily a volcanic unit, which is why it inspired the volcano part of its name. However, it turns out that it did not belong to this formation, as it belonged to another one, which lay directly underneath Batoka, the Forest Sandstone Formation, which conversely has nothing to do with volcanoes, leading to the first inaccuracy, and the second part of its name doesn't fare much better. The Volcanodon was originally believed to have been a prosauropod, as it was dated to the early Jurassic, living between 199 and 188 million years ago. Additionally, one of the materials recovered from the skeleton were knife-shaped teeth, another confirmation that it was a prosauropod, as in 1972, when it was found, there was a notion that prosauropods were omnivores. However, since its discovery, paleontologists have learned that even this portion of its name was wrong. More research led to the revelation that the knife-shaped teeth did not belong to the Volcanodon, but rather an unknown theropod that had been feasting on it. In reality, the Volcanodon had been a vegan and a fairly small sauropod, weighing about 3.5 tons and being between 21 feet and 6.5 meters long, although it was a true sauropod, not a pro sauropod as originally thought. Fortunately for the Volcanodon, it wasn't the only dinosaur to have an inaccurate name due to a mix-up regarding found fossils, as the Pentaceratops, a rather well-known dinosaur, suffered a similar fate. Its name is pretty straightforward, meaning five-horned face. This is highly unique for ceratopsids, outhorning even the mighty Triceratops, only it didn't really, because Pentaceratops unfortunately did not have five horns, as originally thought by the paleontologist who named it in 1923, Henry Osborne. It only had three genuine horns, with the assumed fourth and fifth horns actually being sharply pointed cheekbones. The horns of Ceratopsids seems to be a revolving issue, as the Pentaceratops is not the only dinosaur from this family who has an inaccurate name thanks to its horns, with the other being a Rhinoceratops. Although, unlike the Pentaceratops, this Ceratopsid did not experience an overestimation of its horns, rather an underestimation, as its name directly translates to no nose horn face. But truthfully, the poor Orhinoceratops did have a nose horn. What happened in this case is that the describer of the genus, William Parks, misinterpreted the remains, which involved a partially crushed skull. He believed that it was a special ceratopsid, as unlike others of its kind, it did not have a separate nose horn bone, leading him to believe that it didn't have a nose horn like the rest of the ceratopsids. The only issue was, he had misunderstood the noseborns of all ceratopsids, as later on, many paleontologists pointed out that a non-separate nosebone is actually normal in ceratopsids. However, to the credit of Parks, the Orhinoceratops nose horn was indeed shorter and blunter than most ceratopsid horns. And misinterpretations of bones leading to inaccurate names is not an issue only felt by ceratopsids, as another fellow group of herbivores, the Stegosauria, have also experienced this. One member of this suborder, who exemplifies this, is the gigant Spinosaurus. And based on some famous dinosaurs, such as the Spinosaurus, one may hear this name and think it was originally thought to be a theropod, but the name actually just means giant spined lizard. From the get-go, paleontologists knew they were dealing with a stegosaur, so no inaccuracies there. Although, they did originally think it wasn't a new dinosaur, but another specimen of an already known stegosaur. Eventually, they realized it was a brand new genus of Chinese stegosaur and gave it its name. However, the mistake they made was that it was named after what appeared to be a giant spinal bone, explaining the translation of giant spined lizard. In reality though, what was deemed to be a large spine was really a shoulder blade. However, in the defense of the creators of this dinosaur's name, the shoulders were still very large, proportionally speaking, as they were twice the length of the dinosaur's shoulder blade. 
No doubt being named based off an inaccuracy would be annoying, but perhaps not as unfortunate as being named based off another dinosaur while still throwing some inaccuracies in there, as seen with the Pro Ceratosaurus. This dinosaur is certainly amazing, so it's regretful that its name has nothing to do with any of its features and still being wrong. Pro Ceratosaurus translates to Before Ceratosaurus. It was a smaller carnivorous theropod measuring 9.8 feet or 3 meters long and was originally believed to have been an ancestor of the Ceratosaurus due to the two sharing a crest, although the crests were only similar superficially and eventually it turned out that the pro Ceratosaurus was actually a part of the clade Tyrannosauridia and not a primitive Ceratosaurus as originally thought. 